morning, ladies and gentlemen. Croso e bow, a warm Welsh welcome. And that's from a little Geordie lass from Newcastle. I'm honoured and delighted to welcome you all to 2015 International Technology Enabled Care Conference here in the beautiful setting of Celtic Manor. Since we were here last November, things have certainly picked up in the industry and the sector. 21st Century Care Solutions is what we hope to achieve last year, and 2015 has been a year of solutions. Over the next two days, we will look to the future, but also celebrate the achievements and what a year of progress it's been. Our key themes this year are entrepreneurship. How can we all think differently to make things happen for you, your business and the sector? Education, preparing the future. What do we need to know? Ensuring the leaders, frontline staff, citizens are fully informed and the big evolution. What's next? A move to more digital connected devices, but most importantly, services. Many events are simply a one-off, an event where you come and then you go back to the day job. This conference is different as it brings together the tech communities celebrating an achievement and success, as well as influences our direction and inspiring change and progress throughout the UK and beyond. This year's conference, with its mix of plenaries, breakouts, learning activities, masterclasses, awards and challenges, will be huge opportunities for you all to connect. Hear from the people who use and provide services daily, to the politicians who make policy and funding decisions. As technology advances, at a rapid race, we are seeing strong signs of health, housing and social care wakening up to the benefits of digital health and technology-enabled care. While pressures on services make headlines, there's a growing recognition by policymakers that digital health and technology-enabled care can support the UK citizens, patients and carers in staying well and maintaining their independence. So why this conference? Why is it so different? You're all here in a packed room in Celtic Manor to shape the content and delivery of not only the conference, but the emergent themes for TSA, our members and partners to develop during 2016 and beyond. We all need to be entrepreneurial. We have all waited a very long time to see the evolution of this sector and we do all may need to make it happen. I want to set you all a challenge today and over the next 24 hours. Text needs your contribution, engagement and inspiration. So let's all participate in the open debates this morning and throughout the whole conference. Be bold, be positive and be determined to make a real difference. In the first plenary session today, this is your chance to really get a voice. A year ago, we listened long and hard to our members and have responded positively and passionately with services to keep you informed. As we all await the spending review, what will it hold for us? It's your chance to challenge and question the policy this morning to shape our future. The learning is critical in shaping the future roadmap for TSA, our members and partners. How exciting is it to get time out of the office and actually think about what our future will be, what will the evolution be for techs? We're delighted George Freeman, the Under Secretary of State for Life Sciences at the Department of Business, Innovation and Skills and the Department of Health will soon give an opening address to this conference, shifting from 20th century health and care models to a model of 21st century care. Moving from health care to health and well-being, keeping people active and well, and allowing data to flow through the system and empowering the patient, carers, and end users. Listening closely to his speech, and this will form the basis over the two days to find new solutions to realise the opportunities of techs.
TSA ourselves have a huge challenge. We set ourselves a huge challenge last year on the stage at this conference. We promised to find the collective voice, a voice that would lead and inspire the whole text landscape to realize the benefits. Today, we've actually launched our official new brand, TSA, the, te the voice of technology-enabled care. From the theme of our opening song, we all need to be heroes, making a difference, collaborating, partnerships, and together making the difference that changes lives. TSA for a number of years have had an inspiring new vision for all people, all citizens in the UK and beyond to choose technology-enabled care to enrich their everyday lives. This is what good luck looks like for us. We need to empower and support our communities to embrace technology and for it to become the norm, the must in their lives. TSA and our members know the what. We know the who, we know the why. We spent years talking to people, innovating and justifying. 20 years of conferencing, trying to get that voice. We're on our way now. We're really on our way now to find and knowing the how. TS has played a major role over the past 12 months, leading and mentoring our members, government and strategic partners in delivering the how, but we're just on the start of that journey. Leading up to conference, TSA led a number of tweet chats, giving us all the opportunity to shape this morning's debate with the policymakers across the UK. We've covered topics, government policies, the potential for savings for tech, how citizens and frontline staff can get involved in tech development, and public sector finances and the smart connected homes. Over the six weeks, over 2,000 tweets were shared in conversations taking place with 180 key individuals. I urge you all to start participating in the conversation, and it starts today. And now, on to today's programme. I'm delighted we are joined by Paul Burstow, our conference chair. Paul has extensive first-hand knowledge of our sector as care minister in the coalition government and has an in-depth understanding of the health and housing and care sector. Paul's been working with us to shape the debate over the next two days. He will be challenging our speakers to arrive with bold and brave statements for the TSA and our members to develop during 2016. I look forward to seeing you over the, over the period of conference Enjoy everything, participate, and help change our future. Here's to a fantastic conference. May I welcome Paul Burstow. Thank you. <laughs> 